Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to change the difficulty or mode on your Terraria server. Changing the mode or the difficulty on your server is actually quite simple. First of all, locate where all your server files are stored. On Server Pro, this is found in your control panel under the Files tab, here on the left. Before we make any changes to the files, make sure to stop your server. This is very important. Next, scroll down all the way until you see the file called terraria.properties and open it by clicking on it. Then find a difficulty setting right here. What you need to do to enable this option is just remove the hashtag in front and then change the number to whatever you like. Zero is normal, one is expert, two is master, and three is journey. You can find what all of these options mean in the Terraria wiki page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. After that, what you'll need to do is create a new world. This is because you cannot change the difficulty on an already existing world without some sort of third party software. This means once you create a world, that difficulty will be locked no matter what you put in this file. So let's create a new world. To do this, change the world name option here to something new. For example, world underscore new. And also change the world option here to the same thing. Do not remove the .wld bit at the end, so it should look something like this. Again, please make sure that when you do these changes, your server is offline. Now that's changed, I'm going to save this file and start my server back up. And as you can see from the console, it's creating the new world with our new difficulty setting set. Once it's created, you can also see the world file in the worlds folder here. Because I set my world difficulty to journey mode, when I try to join the server with my normal character, it won't actually let me. This is because you can only join journey mode servers with journey characters. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.